Wow. Splatoon 3. Splatoon, my guy. Okay, this is epic. We got this new location. It's in, like, the desert or something. It probably has to do with uh, the Chaos win from the last Splatfest in Splatoon 2. I was Team Chaos, by the way, specifically for this reason. Because I knew Chaos would make for a better story mode and a better speed game. Except for RNG, I really hope Chaos does not equal RNG. Hopefully it equals like open world, like free exploration, rather than order, which is more like the previous games of just go through the sequence of levels, go through the sequence of worlds, you know? But anyway, I wanted to share with you guys what I think would make for a good Splatoon 3 speedrun. First thing, as I alluded to before, no RNG. Both of the speed games in Splatoon 2, both the Hero Mode and the Octo Expansion, were ruined by a big section of RNG right at the end. In the Hero Mode, it was just the final boss um, was completely filled with RNG. You, there was no way to manipulate it, and it could vary, you know, up to two minutes in either direction, which would absolutely make or break a run. In the Octo Expansion, um, there was a trick discovered by Shadow Chimera in which you would throw a bomb on top of this wall to activate the splat switch when you didn't have the Octo Shot yet, which would basically skip getting the Octo Shot. But there was a lot of RNG in getting that tiny amount of ink from the bomb to actually hit that splat switch. I know I certainly got disinterested in that run after that trick was discovered, and I know a lot of other people felt the same way. The next thing I would like from a Splatoon 3 speedrun would be the ability to choose your weapon for each stage um, right off the bat. So in Splatoon 1, you were only allowed to use the hero shot. And that was fine because the hero shot was a good weapon for the speedrun. It felt good, it felt smooth. Um, in Splatoon 2, I did like that they added more weapons to the single player, but I didn't like that they locked you in to a certain weapon for each stage. Now I know they probably did this because it's easier to design a stage around one weapon rather than try and suit it for every weapon and still be a good level. Hopefully with the added time for the Splatoon 3 development cycle, they can really put more time into each stage and have it work with every weapon. And I think that would really benefit the speedrun. Another thing that I think would be super cool for the single player would be to have online leaderboards for individual level speedruns. Now they did add a individual level timer to the Splatoon 2 levels, which I really appreciated. But I think taking it that extra step and adding an online leaderboard, such as um, in Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, where they do have an online level leaderboard down to the millisecond, um, I think it really is going to help people get into the speedrun and just be a cool addition for people to do when they don't want to play um, you know, online multiplayer. Another thing that I saw on the Nintendo of America Twitter account was this tweet. We've identified two new ways that the Inklings can move. A squid roll allows them to leap and twirl out of their ink, and a squid surge allows them to quickly swim up ink-covered walls and jump out at the top. Just think how these abilities could be used in the heat of battle. So I like that they're adding new moves that aren't just tied to a weapon, say the Dooley's Roll, um, and I hope they do more of this because in the first two games, it was really just shooting your weapon and then swimming through the ink, and that was really all you could do. But with the addition of new moves, it introduces the opportunity for new movement tech. This would make the speedrun a lot more interesting and might even increase the skill cap, which would allow for more optimizations over a longer period of time. Maybe they could even add something like gear to the Splatoon 3 single player mode so that you could get things like swim speed up or a weapon buff, which would just further increase the possibilities for optimization. But anyway, the one thing I really want is for them to just overhaul the entire single player mode. You know, no more Zatfish, get a new theme, get new enemies, new everything, you know? I just want an entirely new platforming adventure and I think that would really make for the best speedrun. 
Hey, but in the meantime, I'm going to be speedrunning Super Mario 3D World for the Switch on my Twitch channel. I'm having a lot of fun, so until Splatoon 3 comes out, I'll see you there.